This is the notorious coronavirus. Spike-like proteins on its surface make it look like a king's crown, hence the name coronavirus. These spiky proteins, known as S-proteins, act as anchors that allow the virus to invade a live target mammalian cell. The virus contains a single-strand RNA, which is the key component of the virus. Coronaviruses have the longest known viral RNA genomes, with a length of about 30,000 bases. This is a human cell, one of the main targets of the coronavirus. On the surface of a human cell, there are lots of surface proteins, one of which is called angiotensin converting enzyme 2, or ACE2. Scientists have identified ACE2 as a protein that interacts with the S protein, leading to the entry of the virus into a target cell. After ACE2 recognizes the S protein, the virus is driven inside and begins to hijack the cell. First, the S protein and other surface proteins on the virus are degraded in the cytoplasm of the host cell, then the envelope. The viral RNA is released and spreads out, making it ready for replication. Next, the viral RNA hijacks the ribosome of the host cell. The coronavirus RNA genome can do this easily because it has a methylated cap on one end and a polyadenylated tail on the other, which allows the RNA to attach to the host cell's ribosome without any further processing. The viral RNA uses the ribosome as a machine to generate a special enzyme called RNA polymers, which is critical to driving RNA replication. This newly synthesized RNA polymers is based on the genetic information provided by the virus RNA, so it will work exclusively for viral RNA itself. Next, the RNA polymers will find the proper starting point on the viral RNA sequence to start making a child RNA chain from the mother RNA. The new one is complementary to the original based on a genetic rule. The RNA gains all the necessary components, including amino acids, to make a new envelope, S protein, and other surface proteins. In this way, viral RNA is multiplied in the cytoplasm. The host cell becomes a virus-making factory. These viruses are released from the original host cells to infect other cells. Like all the other RNA, the viral RNA contains four different bases, which are adenine, abbreviated as A, guanine, abbreviated as G, cytosine, abbreviated as C, and uracil, abbreviated as U. When making child viral RNA, the bases A, U, C, and G in the mother RNA always match the U, A, G, and C in the child RNA chain, respectively. Next, let's look at how remdesivir works as a promising drug to treat coronavirus. This is the molecular structure of remdesivir, a drug developed by U.S. pharmaceutical company Gilead. It is a nucleotide analog which contains a structure very similar to adenine. When entering into infected cells, Remdesivir takes the place of real adenine and is incorporated into the newly synthesized RNA chain, which will stop the RNA polymers from lengthening the RNA chain. Replication of viral RNA is interrupted. Without replication, the host immune cells will clear out the remaining viruses.